My Hero Academia fans, massive, massive news. In case you don't know, Season 6 of My Hero Academia, if they do it right, if Studio Bones cares enough, if Studio Bones isn't too focused on, I don't know, Mob Psycho 100 Season 3 and just in general movies and all the other crap that they decide to do instead of focusing in on My Hero Academia, Season 6 should ideally be the best season. Like, Season 5 was supposed to be the best up to that point, but, you know, that ship has kind of sailed. But Season 6 is supposed to be the best season, and a lot of fans including myself, are very, very much so excited because, yeah, there's a lot of really awesome stuff. And we finally, finally got the official full release date for Season 6 when it starts. It says here, My Hero Academia Anime Season 6 broadcast begins from October 1st. So straight away, the fall season, in case you missed it, over on my Forever World channel, I talked about all the anime from the fall season that you should be watching, all the gems and whatnot. Go check that video out. I'll have it right here here whatnot um go check it out it's a great video and also my hero academia starting october like this year is about to oh my god it's like the summer is the last embers of the shit we've had to put up with in 2022 just the last embers and once we jump in straight away in fact i'm lying because august we already got dragon ball super superhero is coming to theaters could argue whether or not you know to be excited about that i'm excited um and then september jojo's october everything else baby let's freaking go my hero october 1st kicking off the fall season in the best way possible I, i'm beyond excited i'm ecstatic i'm i'm just riveted for it mate no <laughs> in particular i'll just say this shigaraki tomura fanboys we're about to eat so long they don't drop the ball so long they don't pull some bullshit like i'm watching studio bones very closely black clover fans i am beyond ecstatic to bring you this little nugget of massive massive information for the upcoming return july 31st black clover is returning with a vengeance and we've got a little bit of a teaser of what's about to go down i mean yeah you probably either saw by the timestamp or the title or wherever the heck you are watching this right now but black clover's return is going to be massive and we're getting a time skip with the final saga and everything Let's just read everything we got here right now because baby this is exciting to be a Black Clover fan. For starters it says Black Clover's manga final arc slash saga those who become the strongest wizard king now that's not exactly the most accurate translation it might be a little bit different basically these are fan translations but essentially the final arc slash saga is more or less going to be those who become the strongest wizard king because if you're reading black clover which don't worry i will not spoil but if you're reading black clover you know how the last chapter before the hiatus was so this is going to be obviously the big main focus of it but Aside from that, because that, that's great, that's huge, that's massive already, that, okay, it's going to really focus on Asta and Yuno's dream, the whole point of the story to begin with, right? You want to be Wizard King, he want to be Wizard King. Well, it, it, it takes it a step further to tell us that Black Clover Chapter 332's preview is a little over a year after the fierce battle asta and the others are summoned and there's no art yet but a little over a year so we got another time skip incoming and i honestly i'm gonna straight up say it up and down i really 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 hope yuki tabata goes the route of kobe from one piece and what i mean by that is throw it within a year that asta is like jacked and, and tall as shit like well he's already jacked now after the last time skip but make it that he either grew taller or just i don't know he got a mustache now or his his hair is long or some shit and not cut preferably i hate when they do that oh my god hiro mashima had me so upset when he debuted natsu after that time skip and natsu had the long hair and it was like the coolest design i had ever seen and then oh yeah we're cutting it i was like hiro mashima why must you tease us with amazing character designs and take them away so if you're gonna give long hair to either asta or you know don't do it dog don't cut it or at the very least if you hate drawing that long shit then put it in a ponytail and when he gets gets into a fight then it comes out but don't please because that will be epic as hell to see them with that design but either way another freaking time skip for black clover which i have no doubt in my mind this is going to be same for like one piece down the road we're probably going to get another one and considering it's going into its final arc yeah that, that makes sense but holy snap a freaking time skip let's go y'all y'all know for now man and my bag is i love time skips because it begins anew a fresh start so to speak and it's crazy that holy snap black clover and boruto started around the same time and black clover is getting to a second 
time skip before Boruto's gotten into the first one that was teased to us ages ago. Like, where they do that at? Black Clover is where they do that. I'm not trying to put down Boruto by any means. I'm just saying that. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Another time skip. What do you want from this? I'm gonna just straight up. I have to ask, what do you guys want from Black Clover's time skip? Do you want new designs? Do you want new powers? Do you want to see, like, I don't freaking know, Lieb look different? You want Yuno, know, Noel, Mimosa, um, Yami? Oh my god, there's just so many freaking things. I, I can't even believe it. We're going into a new time skip into the strongest wizard king arc saga. <laughs> Black Clover, I'm going to say it again. If you're a Black Clover fan, I don't know. I just want to say I love you. <laughs> I'm just too excited right now. Shout outs to all you guys. Shout outs to that Black Clover greatness, the Black Clover Hive. Guess what, people? It's time. July 31st. We move, baby. Let's go. Dragon Ball Gaming fans. Yes, fans that love Dragon Ball games. In case you don't remember, there was a game announced a while back. Dragon Ball Breakers. Breaking them balls, fam. No, but Dragon Ball Breakers. Um, And we didn't get no release date. All we got was a trailer. And a lot of people, you know, rushed in to get to the beta. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of those people. I never got a chance to play it. But either way, we got finally a release release date for dragon ball the breakers it says here dragon ball the breakers launches october 13th in japan and october 14th worldwide they gotta give their home country a day ahead of us huh uh, dragon ball the breakers will launch for ps4 xbox one switch and pc automatically killed off a massive fan base of the ps5 because i play on ps5 so yeah maybe i'll go to i don't know my nephew will jump on his playstation to play it but uh and pc via steam on october 13th in japan and october 14th worldwide publisher bandai namco and developer dimps announced the game will be available in the following editions there's the standard edition digital only this includes a full copy of dragon ball the breakers an android 18 skill wall kick transfer and a scouter blue accessory details on digital pre-order availability will be available at a later date then there's the special edition this includes the full game a customizable costume a dragon yellow vehicle skin a two-handed good victory pose an android 18 skill wall kick transfer and a scouter blue accessory limited edition bundle the bondi namco store exclusive if i do get this game which i probably will because it just sounds too much fun i, I said hey i got ps5 but playing with my niece and nephew you this this just seems like the game we will have so much fun with uh this includes the full game all special edition exclusive content and eight yeah so everything that was just announced i'm not going to repeat it. oh wait no there's a couple extra things a dragon ball the breakers themed steel book an exclusive cell shell figure and the potara green accessory which is a timed exclusive bandai namco store bonus and there was a closed network test that will be held across platforms august 5th and 6th users can register which i'll probably just wait at this particular point like i already missed out on the first beta so mm -hmm. during the test the newly announced raider frieza and previously revealed raider cell will be available to play survivors will also have access to oolong and bulma and they have session times or whatever but yeah so we finally got the date october 14th worldwide october 13th for japan you'll be able to play dragon ball the breakers and again this just seems like so much fun with my kids like <laughs> that's really the main thing like i'm gonna be having a blast messing with my kids they're not gonna know who's oolong and all of this and i'm gonna be like all right i'm gonna show y'all oolong dog i'm gonna run all you motherfuckers fuck out of here <laughs> I'm actually really excited for this one. I, I just really don't understand why they excluded PS5. Like, that should be slam dunk. Why not? So, kind of puzzling. Although, maybe considering it's on PS4, maybe I could still play it on my PS5. I, I don't know how that works. But Dragon Ball Breakers, going to be fun. 